I feel like when you're not tracking something, whether it's like whatever it may be, like I was tracking the scale for a very, very long time. Cucumber taco situation. Mmm. Really good. <laughs> But I'm on my walk and I was just freaking attacked by a dog and it was the scariest thing I've experienced. Even Are you a big boy? You coloring? And I'm like, I would get married in our backyard and our backyard is like 10 foot by 10 foot. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday y'all. It is so sunny and bright out today. It is also very cold. My car says 73 because it was in the garage, but I think it's in the 60s. Oh, made it. Um, Hello, happy Monday. I am on my way to the gym, like, you know, always on a Monday. Got my pre-workout. I ate a lot of food yesterday, <laughs> a lot. We went out for Scott's mom's birthday at this place called The Rustic, which was really good. Um, and they had like a brunch, like menu sort of thing. So we ate brunch. Um, and I didn't feel like I ate a lot, but I also had cake and things like that. I didn't feel super full when I was there. But then I got hungry later in the evening and then I ate like just, ugh. So, yeah, ate a lot, feeling puffy. What did we do on Saturday? Nothing. Um, Scott's finally done with his golf tournament. He got into fifth place for that, so we're very happy for, for Mr. Scott for that. Um, this week's gonna be a pretty chill week during the week. Thankfully, I feel like we've been kind of go, go, go lately, and I'm just like ready to freaking chill. Um, but this weekend, we have lots of plans, so I thought I would just take you along a normal-ish, probably not normal, something probably will happen because it's me after all, um, week in my life. <laughs> my toe is still not finally like or fully functioning, like I cannot bend it, like like I can't stand on my tiptoes, like do squats, or not squats, um, lunges or anything like that because it still just really hurts. So, yeah, that's where we're at with that. And I think my allergies are like, ugh. I don't know, my throat's feeling really scratchy. It's 65 degrees. Bar chile. Bar bar chile. I'm not ready for New York and how cold it's gonna be, like, at all. It's gonna be freezing. Ooh, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the gym, and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. We need to do a full Trader Joe's haul. I need pretty much everything. Um. And I didn't clean out my fridge before I left, which I normally like to do, but I just like didn't. Cause I just didn't feel like it. I don't think I have like a ton of stuff in there um, that needs to be thrown away, but um, I know like some leftovers and stuff, but I, fun fact, hate eating leftovers, but unless it's like soup and I like leftovers or pot roast, then it's good. But most things, yeah. Okay, I'm just rambling at this point. I need to drink this pre-workout because I'm still like half asleep. I like woke up, Scott had a 7 a.m. Uh, meeting this morning so he like woke up out of bed and I heard him like getting water and stuff downstairs and I was just like in my brain like I was like, is it morning or is it still nighttime? Because it was so dark out still. So I was like a really thrown for a loop but I was like, I really hope it's still nighttime. I want more sleep, <laughs> but that didn't happen. So, let's go to the gym. All right, just got out of the gym. Um, it's a really good workout, really, really good. I feel like um, my goals for the gym have definitely changed. Um, in the beginning when I, I almost started working out almost a year ago, in November is when I got my gym membership. Um, we're halfway through October. And when I first went 
Oh, sorry. Um, when I first started going to the gym, I had no idea what I was doing. I followed Scott around and did Scott's workouts. And then I started getting really into it in terms of like researching it and looking things up and da 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 da. Um, and what was I gonna say? And um, yeah, my they've changed. And then I went from not um, tracking my progress and just kind of like, there's this guy just on the corner staring at me. But anywho, um, I went from not tracking my progress and I'm trying to not make eye contact with this guy. He's gonna knock on my window. Oh, so awkward. Anyway, I went from not tracking my progress to then tracking and seeing if I was progressing over um, like the weeks and now it's become, and I feel like when you're not tracking something, whether it's like whatever it may be, like I was tracking the scale for a very, very long time. Um, I was weighing my food a lot and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing at all. Um, and I might do it again. I'm not right now. I've kind of taken a break from it because I honestly feel like now I know, now I'm much more conscious about making sure I have enough protein in every meal. And I know because I know when I don't, oh boy, I know when I don't have enough fat in my lunch that I don't stay as full and I'm much more hungry um, sooner. And that's when I tend to snack. So I've just, I feel like I learned a lot from tracking food and macros and things like that. So I'll probably do it again, but right now I'm just kind of like, whatever. Um, but what I've been focusing on now is more like weight in the gym, like in terms of like lifting, like how much am I lifting or what am I, like whatever the case may be. And I know that might be annoying to some people. I don't know, but it's come so much further than aesthetic honestly my scale ran out of batteries like a month ago and I have not replaced the batteries um and I don't know I mean I just feel like with everybody's fitness health journey everyone's looks so different if you watch like my fitness journey on YouTube like those videos or whatever everyone tells you the same sort of things they go from like being super like um physique focused to then focusing on like you know um strength and then focusing on you know clarity health all that sort of stuff i feel like it's kind of just like an up and down and everyone has to experience it for themselves i think um i don't know i just think it's one of those things so nonetheless i feel like i've truly grown to love the gym and i cannot believe that i would ever say that it's become part of my routine and i kind of just don't give myself the opportunity unless I'm like you guys know I also listen to my body if I'm like sick or not feeling well or whatever the case may be I don't go to the gym but for the most part it's just part of my weekly routine now and I've changed it from physical appearance to just like it makes me feel good and I do like to see muscle growth that's exciting to me because I've just always been kind of weak even when I thought like oh I had you know like if I was like you know and you're like oh if I could go back 10 years and have that body right I never was fit back then either I was just skinny but I wasn't like fit I never had abs I never had muscle definition nothing like that so I don't know I think it's a mix of like getting older and accepting your body but also just like finding what works for you and what motivates you and all of that I don't know if that made any sense but I've kind of changed my goals in the gym to just losing weight to also getting stronger in turn losing weight will happen but I've switched the focus from the number on the scale to I am part of Mark um, Carroll's fitness program and there's an app where you like put your weight um, not weight like your um, <clears throat> like how much you load on the squat rack or whatever the case may be you put that weight in and I'm more focused on lifting that number than looking at the scale but I think that either one is healthy depending on what your goals are. Um, but either way, that's what I just wanted to share with you guys. I had a really good workout. Um, and now we're headed to Trader Joe's. It's 9.40. The only thing I wish about myself is that I could get up earlier in the morning. I just love my sleep. And I feel like I was sleep deprived for like a year with Arlo. Um... And so I'm constantly feeling like I have to catch up on sleep. So that's my only thing. I wish I could get up and go to the gym by like 7.30, 7 o'clock. <sighs> but that's not happening. I don't know. I need to just like try it and get back. It's, it's the same thing I'm saying like I would never go to the gym every weekday. And it's like 
you just have to make it part of your routine until it becomes just like a you know subconscious thing anyhow I love you guys happy Monday hope y'all are having a good Monday and let's go get some healthy groceries I'm gonna make a soup this week from this like recipe thing that I saw on like I forgot where she showed it probably Instagram honestly um but I hate doing that because I like to give people credit if they did it if I can find her on Instagram it was just a I think it was on the explore page but it's not that revolutionary but basically she takes the harvest soup from Trader Joe's which I need to get one more can throws in cauliflower gnocchi and then kale um into the soup and it looks like really good um I'm sure you could throw like beans or lentils in it too for protein but I'm probably just gonna have like I don't know chicken on the side or something no clue but I really want to make that soup so yeah let's get to going all right just got done at Trader Joe's um I need to run to Kroger really quick um, for like meats and stuff. I was gonna get some chicken and some pork. Ah, actually, I don't even think I need to go. No, I don't actually need to go to Kroger because I have enough in the fridge. So, nonetheless, we are headed to go. Bleh. Headed home now to unload all these groceries and film a grocery haul. Got some good stuff at Trader Joe's, got some new stuff at Trader Joe's. Pretty excited. All right, oh my God, there's the cutest little baby in the car next to me. Anyhow, just dropped off my Poshmark orders. Been running around like a crazy person today. Um, but now I'm headed home. Um, I've run all my errands for the day. It's three o'clock. Um, I've got pretty much everything done. I have to edit a video, but I got pretty much everything done on my to-do list. I've been better about, look at all those boxes. Oh, could have reused those boxes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I've been better about making to-do lists and I always find when I make to-do lists, like detailed, like specific, even like the stupid things like get ready, take a shower, da 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 da. It just helps me like remember all the things that I need to get done and it just like helps keep me on track that like act of crossing things off my list. Anyhow, I'm gonna go home and edit and get this video up. I get this video sent off and then um, yeah, I'll pick up little man in a bit. Oh, we have I have confirmed my hair appointment on Friday. So I had originally had set up for highlights and then I was like, you know, I need a haircut. I just feel like my hair is just like not, it's all just like one length, very blunt. I want more of like layers and like, so when I curl my hair, it just like lays differently instead of just being like flat, you know? So we're going to look at some pictures of like what I want because I'm just not used to doing that because I just always would be like mom I just want long layers and she'd be like okay and she'd just like do her thing right but I feel like with a hairdresser they prefer pictures so I'm going to bring pictures of some hair that I like I actually really I took a screenshot of Courtney what the heck is her last name Courtney not Courtney Kerr Courtney drawing a blank her name is Courtney and she's on Courtney Shields she sounds like a model I don't know how I forgot that name nonetheless I took a picture of her hair the other day and how her layers were and I really liked it so we'll see I might do some other searching but basically I just want more like movement to my hair when it's straight um, when I like blow it out and when I curl it so but not too short where I can't put it in a ponytail. Like I don't want pieces like falling out of my face. You know what I mean? Like my longest layer has to be like, or my shortest layer has to be like here in order for me to still put it in a ponytail for the gym. So anyhow, we going home. Got everything done.
right, so this is my very like janky <laughs> TikTok viral thing. I haven't watched the whole thing. I just know people are basically going crazy over it. So I made my own rendition. So I took one cup of rice, a piece of salmon, smashed it up, soy sauce, sriracha, sesame seeds, and I was gonna put yogurt in it because people put mayo in it, but I didn't. And then I put, um, wrapped it up in some sheets of nori with some cucumber and some avocado. And then I also just made these little guys too. Like a cucumber taco situation. Mm. Really good. Guys, I haven't vlogged much at all today. I vlogged my lunch. But I have been cleaning the my closet for the past like three hours, transitioning all my like fall winter clothes over to my like, everyday closet and vice versa. I will link that video. I think it's gonna already be up. I think so. If it's not, I will. Uh, you'll see it soon. So either way. Um, nonetheless, yeah, it's been a lot. I'm glad I got it all done. I feel like with those projects, I tend to like stop halfway, or not halfway through, but just like don't completely finish. And honestly, I didn't fully completely finish. So I just said I was proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. The only thing I have left to, it's fully picked up. The only thing I have left to do is drop off donations, which I'm gonna do tomorrow, I think, and um, post some stuff on my Poshmark which I want to do before the video goes live. So I'll probably do that tomorrow as well. And yeah, that's it. Everything else is completed, done, and it feels good. Are you one of those? I don't know. I, I mean, I've never had two closets before. So I never was one of those people that did tr transitions, but I have always kind of kept certain things, you know, front and center versus not so that's what i spent the day doing and i'm very tired and it's almost four o'clock i'm going to show you what i'm making for dinner tonight which is a soup recipe situation that i'm trying out hopefully it's good i don't know but yeah hopefully it's good um and ooh, maybe i'll throw some sausage in there as well for some protein probably do that so i'll probably go find some sausage take out chicken sausage and um yeah i do have to do a little laundry but that's pretty much my day tomorrow arlo has his 18 month appointment and um that's at 2 30 so my day is gonna get kind of cut short with that i'm pretty sure he has another ear infection honestly um yeah, I just think, I just feel like he does. He has not been sleeping very well. Um, I did give him Motrin last night. Uh, so we'll see what the doctor says. I knew that he has a doctor's appointment, which is why I was just like, okay. Um, and yeah, and then Friday, all day, I'm getting my hair done, <laughs> getting highlights and getting a cut. So I'm super excited about that. So I can't believe it's already Wednesday. This week has gone by so freaking fast. But anyhow. Yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. So I have one whole thing of the harvest soup in here. And then to that, I'm gonna add this shredded kale, not the whole bag, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add a little bit of this chunked up, this garlic herb, chicken sausage, and then these cheese tortellini. I'm probably gonna add some water and chicken stock, or like chicken stock. I use bouillon and water to this, or to this so that the soup doesn't get super thick. That's the plan.
just finished up at the gym and I'm kind of stressed because I'm not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, <laughs> kind of. So I, on Tuesday, I think it was, I um, dropped off three Poshmark orders that I had, um, you know, prepackaged, whatever. I dropped them off at the same location. I've never had an issue. Only two of them got scanned in and the third one didn't. And so I'm like, oh my God. And it's through Poshmark. So it's like, they know when it's been scanned in and the person can track it. So I just got an alert saying like, send out your package. And I'm like, I did. And I like feel horrible because I don't want her not to get the jeans. And then what happens on my end? Do I have to like, I don't know what happens. I lost the jeans and the girl doesn't get the, I'm more concerned about the girl not getting the jeans, but I'm wondering if there's like multiple checkpoints. I don't know. I don't know, I feel so awful. I don't know what to do. I just called them and they were like, we're not an actual post office. Like they are a post office, they're a postal center. So when USPS comes to pick it up, they just scan it. And they said, I don't know why they didn't scan it. And I'm just like, I don't either. So frustrated. So there's that. Um, I also have two other orders to send out and have no boxes and they don't have priority boxes there. So I need to go find some boxes. Okay, so I don't know how well you can hear me because I have my headphones in, but I'm on my walk and I was just freaking attacked by a dog and it was the scariest thing I've experienced. <laughs> Even though he wasn't violent, he didn't bite me or anything, he was a giant pit bull, big dog, which I have no problem with them at all. Um, but I was just walking down a main street, but I walked on the other side than I normally do because it's still cold out and I wanted to walk in the sun. And he like comes up behind me and just like pushes me down and then just continues to jump on me and jump on me and I was so freaking scared you guys like and then he's like I didn't know how to get him to stop and he just kept jumping because he was really big don't by this person sitting on a tree anywho um yeah so he like is jumping on me jumping on me jumping on me and I don't know how to get him to stop so, like I said not being aggressive just playing but really aggressively because <laughs> He's big. And um, so then he's like trying to run out and throw it. I'm like trying to get him not to. I didn't know who he belonged to. I was like looking for his owner. It was a main street, so it was super busy. It was just so scary, dude. And I had to like take a minute to catch my breath because I was so just like scared. But anyhow, I'm glad that he wasn't, you know, vicious, but I was like, oh my God. And like, I, he, after it happened, he like ran over to his door and just sat there and I was like, gonna go tell them like, yo, your dog is sitting outside, but I did not want him to knock me down again. So he went up and sat by the door, but I will not be walking by that house anymore ever again. So scary. All right. I've literally been sitting on my computer editing ever since I got home from my walk. Um, I'm just getting as much editing done as I can because the next two days or today the rest of today is done after I go pick up Arlo from daycare I'm not gonna get any other work done and then um, Tomorrow like I said I'm getting my hair done so I'm gonna go put myself together a bit um, before I go pick up him and then I'm gonna look um, At some hair pictures. I don't know. Okay, let me ask you this question though I really like these sneakers and I am somebody who like does an impulse buy stuff. Hear me out. I bought my on sneakers and I wear them like every single day. Y'all know like obsessed, right? Um, but I want them more for walking and I want a different pair for working out just because like I've been working out a lot. I just want a different pair of shoes. Okay. But I've seen these shoes for like probably a couple months now and they're only a hundred bucks and I know it's hundred bucks, but they're not like I mean, my ons were like 160, okay? So I'm like, oh, I kind of really like them. They're different for me. I don't know if I'll love them, but they've come out with different colors and now I'm literally obsessed. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so they're these Nikes. First color I saw was, not these ones. I do really like those ones. First color I saw were these and I really liked them, but then I was like, you know, like they don't really go with everything. And so then I was like, oh, should I get the black? And then I was like, no, I don't really like all black shoes. I liked this color, pretty fun, but more like springtime, right? This color I really like. I like that like taupey with the pop of like orangey red. This color I'm pretty much obsessed with. It's like a green and beige, okay? 
Then there's that color again. This color is cute, but I already have like a pair of white sneakers, so no. This, I need these. I want these. I need these. They don't have them anywhere else. I literally cannot find them. I would buy them right now, today, if I could find them. Because I've just never seen a pair of like brown shoes like that. But I really like these ones. I think they're fun. What do you guys think? Sound off. They have like suede. I don't know. I think they're kind of cool and I think they'd be nice for the gym. They're a flat sole, which again is good for the gym. Let me see. See the flat sole for the gym. So I don't know. I kind of want them. And Scott's at the mall right now because he is getting new khakis. And um, yeah, I don't know. They don't have them at Nordstrom right now for pickup though. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. But I can get them shipped. Should I? I mean, if I don't like them, I can always return them, right? They're so cute. Oh, they do have them today. Wait, do they have these ones? No, they don't. Um, I don't know. I just really want the tan ones. <laughs> but I legitimately cannot find them anywhere, so. I don't know why. I can't even like be added to a wait list. Like they're just like, these are never coming back. And no other, you know how like every Nike thing is different? Like even on their Nike site, you can't get all the colors. Like I feel like they're just, they have different, um, I don't know, selection. I don't know, I kind of really am digging the green. But I also really like those too. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I don't know, should I buy both and then just return one of them? Oh, girl, I can't decide. I really like the green. So cute. Okay, let me know in the comments. I probably won't order until I post this. And then you let me know, please. Green or that like. So, okay, these are, these are the two. This one, the green. I'll link these down below as well. Obviously want those, but can't have them. Or, come on. Why is it from being so slow? This color. Sound off. This or the green. Tan or the green. It's not really called tan. It's called cream and navy. Ooh, that's navy. That's really pretty. So the cream and navy or the green. Sound off, sound off. Let me know, please. I'm looking nuts. Um, okay. So I didn't talk to you guys about this lighting and I wanted to because I don't want like the video when it comes out to be like whoa I didn't even know you're trying this okay so if you don't follow Danny Austin then you won't have any idea probably what I'm talking about but if you do she's on Instagram I think she YouTubes I don't know nonetheless she dealt with like hair loss and whatnot and then had a baby um and anyways she created a scalp serum it's called Divi I'll leave it linked down below if you're curious. I'm going to do a full review of it on my channel. Um, I'm doing it every single day. I'm going to show it applied on wet hair, dry hair, my thoughts, everything covering about this and see if I actually notice results. It is about $50 a bottle um, and she does say about three months. So I'm going to do a one month check in and then I'm going to do a three month check in with it because I have some issues with you know, postpartum. I've always had a very, like, kind of receding hairline at this point, but, um, I don't know. I'm curious to see what it does. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, I will, like I said, link it down below, but I'm just curious for myself, and I wanted to do a full review on the product itself, and I know it's going to be a while because, hello, it's a scalp serum, and you have to use it for a while to see results, but I'm going to apply this now, and then wash my face of the sunscreen and sweat that I have on it, and Get ready for the pediatricians. Are you a big boy? I'm coloring. First time talking to you this morning? I don't even know. I think so. 
Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Um, I just got my hair done, which I love it. Hold on, sorry, I'm like, there's like, tra it's trash day, so there's trash cans everywhere and I can't just like back up like normal. Um, okay, so I just got my hair done, I love it. Um, I got to figure out where I'm going, which I think is this way. Um. I don't know where these, oh, these people are gonna buy the unit. Oh, probably should have said hi then. <laughs> Whoa, is that their Mercedes? Then boo, you can afford any place. Okay, <laughs> anyway, um, I got my hair done. She did partial highlights, toned it, and then lots and lots of layers and long bangs, and I'm obsessed. So yeah, very, very happy I did that. Um, I honestly just need to get my hair done more often. I'm always just like, oh, it's so expensive, but honestly, this lady is pretty reasonable, like really reasonable. Um, so if you're in Dallas, um, well, like leave me a message if you need to like, you can either email me or uh, it's Elam, Elam Hair Salon, her name is Heather. I don't remember if that's the name, Elam Hair Design maybe. Nonetheless, leave me a comment, I will respond to you um, and let you know what her information is because she is amazing and I love her. So, got my hair done, got a cold brew caramel pip, pumpkin cold. I don't know the name of this. Uh, I never order it because I never know are you supposed to mix the cream? I mix the cream or else the coffee just tastes, I drink all the foam and there's no coffee, or it's all coffee at the end, you know? Um, and I've already had a couple sips, hence why I'm like so full of energy right now. Mm. Anywho, I am on my way to the post office to mail off Poshmark orders, because like I said, I have no boxes, so I need to go to a legit post office um, to mail that off. And, mm. oh, update my, remember like the whole debacle, was it yesterday, two days ago, when I was like, uh, my order just never got scanned in. Well, it got scanned in finally, so yay, homegirl's gonna get her jeans. I'm so happy. So, that's that. I would like to get a car wash, cause I need to get gas, but I would like to get a car wash, um, cause my car is looking gross and Scott washed his car because he had like a meeting with somebody today. There's a lady fighting her with nobody okay um yeah that's what that's what's been up I've been in the hair salon since 10 o'clock this morning it is two o'clock so it was a long day in the hair salon but I like going in the morning um, I like got up went to the gym and like ran to the hair salon um but yeah cuz I just feel like your whole day is not completely ruined if like you go in the afternoon or something so yes feeling like a new woman just getting your hair done just feels like, oh, hallelujah. So, did that. What else? What else? What else, you guys? I don't know. We're really, I don't think we're going to get up too much tonight. Um, We have to drop Arlo off early in the morning tomorrow at um, his granny's house because she's taking him to like a jazz festival or something. Some sort of like concert situation. And we have a birthday party to go to. And then Sunday, we have another birthday to go to, but Arlo's coming, so she's gonna drop him off on Sunday for the birthday party. Super excited, we're going to this place called Standard Service, but it's the one in Heath, which is like super big, and there's lots of things to do, and the kids can like run around, and um, yeah, I'm excited. So, yeah, that's the plans for the weekend, but um, I don't know what else I needed to update you guys on. I really need to make more wedding venue appointments. This is my thing, you guys. I have my heart set on like two places. First one is like, the first one is the only one that I like fell in love with to a T, but it is like insanely, like I'm not even like going to look at it because it's too expensive, right? The second place I love, I want it to be amazing. And we already have an appointment booked for that. And so I'm like, do I even waste all of my time? Cause like when I go there, I just want to spend time with my family. You know, I don't really care to like do a bunch of stuff. But um, anyways, I was like, do I, oh shoot. I was like, we could go to Canada to see Niagara Falls, but Scott's passport is expired. So we cannot do that. Um, what was I gonna say? I also need to get a new driver's license. I'm all over the place. 
so rambly. Um, but yeah, I just like don't know what the point of seeing other venues are because if I look at them online and I'm like, no, I don't like that. So I don't know. I just hate to like waste my time and like not be happy, but I just, I told Scott last night cause we all were talking about it in bed and I'm like, I would get married in our backyard and our backyard is like 10 foot by 10 foot. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want this giant wedding, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get excited once I start planning it. It's just, I don't know. Anywho, we are start taking classes this week. What is that? You know what I really want to do is I want to take a pottery class. Actually, one of our friends does pottery, but I really want to take a class. I think that'd be fun. Okay. I am all over the place. I am at the post office. This is such a pretty neighborhood. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm at the post office and we are hopefully gonna have an easy experience getting in and out. Is this the post office? Oh yeah, I've been to this one before. That's right. Ooh, there's a kava up here. I really liked kava when I ordered it the other day, but I'm really not hungry, so I don't need anything. Okay, let's go inside. I just realized that I completely forgot to print out my shipping labels first. So we're gonna drive 10 minutes back over to where I live to get my shipping labels. Love that for me. All right, we got the shipping labels. Let's try this again. We're going to a different post office. Rude. <laughs> we're going to a different post office now because it's closer. So yeah, let's get this done. I need to get home and finish editing this vlog so it can go up on Sunday. But I wanna get it done so that um, I have the weekend to just be with family, friends, my hubby. Okay, let's do this. I wore like no mascara today. What else? It has been like the pop-in day to go to the car wash, I guess. Everyone's at the car wash, so. Finally made it through the line. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really needed this. My car looks disgusting, so. I'm not gonna do. You would think I'm at the club right now. I'm not gonna vacuum, because I don't have time for that. Um, because me and Scott decided that we're gonna go to Joe Leo and grab a drink and a nap before we pick up Arlo. Oh. 